Hello, uh, welcome to my channel. So I'm here to give you a solution uh, of the reverse bits, which is 190th problem on lead code, and it is an easy problem. So let's get started. So what does the problem say? Uh, reverse bits of a given 32 bits unsigned integer. So they gave you the input. They gave you some 32 bit digits. 32-bit uh, integer and then they have reversed it and then this is the output that they're expecting okay so we simply need to reverse or shift the digits that are there okay so before that let's get dive deep into the problem and let's understand what's happening and so let's take an input some sample input as maybe 14 okay I like 14 so so the binary value uh, representation of 14 is 1110 uh, okay, to, do, to those who don't know how this 14 has, uh, 1110 has come, so this is a quick explanation. So 14, you need to first divide it by 2 and then uh, the, the remainder that you get is 0. That is the last 0 that is present here. Uh, and then you need to divide that by 2 which will re get reduced to 7 and then you need to again uh, find the remainder of that and the remainder is uh, 1. So the next thing it will be reduced to 3 and then 3 percentage 2 you will find it as 1 and another another time you 3 divided by 2 is 1 and 1 percentage 2 uh, will give you 1 and then that that one will be reduced to zero so you need to run a while loop uh, i mean to get this uh, till the value gets zero you need to get collect all the remainders and that will that will be the binary representation okay that is pretty much easy so it is zero one one and one okay so let's go into the problem so the input that they have given is one 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 zero for example and the output is zero one 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 so we have shifted the digits okay that's good so uh, so what's happening in this so if you just think logically uh, one approach is you need to just take this zero put it in some output take one put it in some output and the same output take the next one put it in the uh, the output and then do the same so let's take a variable maybe result and assign it some value so the value zero is uh, uh, four zeros in binary representation so make sure it is given 32 bit unsigned integer which means uh, there are 28 bits before this but for simplicity i am maintaining it uh, uh, maintaining only four digits so what's what's happening is you need to uh, take this zero put it in this particular value and take this one and put it in the uh, in the same in the last value and so on but hold on if you do the same thing what happens the result uh, uh, keeps uh, adding it on on the same value which is wrong so the moment you add the last digit you need to shift that particular digit to the next place so that this particular digit will be free uh, for the next one to be added so i'll explain it so now for this zero you have added a zero which is the last one that is you get this when you divide it by 2 and then it will be again zeros and next for this 0 you need to shift the zeros uh, to the left but everything is 0 here so, so you can't understand so I am adding the next one so it will be 1 so this particular thing should uh, this is ok this should be shifted that is 0 0 1 0 ok so for this particular value you need to add the last one so it will be 0 0 1 1 and you need to again shift it so it will be 0 1 1 0 for this 0 1 1 0 you need to add the next uh, one so by this time the value will be changed to 0 so you can't uh, can't add anything else so this is how this is the logic on a higher level so let's see how we implement this by writing the java code so before this as i told in my explanation i'm storing it in a result and then I'm running the for loop. So I, I should be less than 32 because it is a 32 bit uh, integer which is of length 32 as the name says. So you need to run or iterate over the for loop 32 times. Uh, and then go to the uh, I plus plus. Oops, one second. Sorry. 
okay i is equal to 0 i less than 32 i plus plus okay and then in this uh, loop uh, what did i tell you i told n is equal to n by 2 okay so let's just try to write a proper function in for loop and then we can include a code code inside that so as this is bit manipulation this won't work we need to uh, write it in a bit manipulation way uh, and uh, the right shift uh, operation is nothing but dividing a particular number by 2 okay so i am uh, shifting it right you can write it in this way okay you are doing the right shift of that number one time which means if it is 14 it will be 7 for the next time it will be 3 for the next time and all that and a very important thing to notice here is uh, they uh, uh, they asked us to treat n as an unsigned value so you need to uh, make it as a logical shift okay logical shift you don't care about the sign okay you uh, just uh, put zeros and then shift okay so this is very important otherwise you'll get the wrong answer so what do we need to do with the result so we need to do result is equals to result plus n percentage 2 okay uh, yes as i told you you need to add it but in order to make this code a little beautiful you can write it like this okay good and what did i tell you you need to first reverse the result and then add it to the last and then uh, decrement n value then reverse the digit so how do you reverse Reza reverse is nothing but left shift okay so you're first reversing the number uh, sorry not reversing you're just uh, moving or shifting the number and then you're adding the last uh, reminder of that of this input and then you're dividing the whole input and then again you continue this uh, for 32 times because there are 32 digits you can't escape this 32 uh, hmm, yeah that's it so by the time it comes here the, it will, the, uh, you need to return the result so the result will have the value that is uh, shift the uh, uh, what do you call it? the reverse of the input so let's uh, just run the code and check if there is any if there is any compile time error so it's accepted okay let's submit the code and check Oh great, so it is uh, 1 millisecond. So if you can just uh, go to a quick uh, time complexity, it is big O of n, uh, where n is the size of this array. So 32 times and that's pretty much acceptable. Okay, uh, space complexity is uh, big O of 1. Uh, yes, that's it for now. Uh, like this video if you really enjoyed my explanation. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you.